Hey guys, I recently reacted to my 9k damage record, which was actually the world record at the time, but it was eventually beaten by this video here today, Racky Thoughts, 10,000 damage in one game. I've actually never watched this before, so this should be a good one, and let's get into it. Okay, he's got a Spitfire off drop. And he's playing Octane here. It isn't an unedited, so it is an edited version. So we're gonna just bypass all, all the long stuff. Give us some time. Show us the fraggings and the damage. Going crazy. All right. It was during the time. This is during the time. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Horizon was OP because he is using the Spitfire and the Spitfire was broken at this time and obviously the secondary gun that people used was EVA. This is kind of, I'm pretty sure this is exactly roughly around the time that I got the 9k damage. Um, because I do remember that when I got my 9k damage game, uh, he actually got this 10k damage. Mm. I would say like a month after. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, I never actually watched it until now. So uh, it should be good. Should be good. The only thing I was told at the time that um, when whenever he did this was that he was playing a three stack. So he's playing with uh, a Valk and a Lopa, and they were uh, pretty much like flying around, helping him find more players and you know get more ammo which we'll probably see more towards the late game because early game it doesn't really matter you know you're you're dropping you're you're fighting people as much as possible he's doing some good damn oh yeah he is frying right now Ooh. Yeah, this is like, this is honestly like the meta where I felt like pub stomping was like so much fun. It's like the pub, uh, pub games were like sweaty enough where like people weren't like just really bad. But then it was also like not like free, you know what I mean? Like there were definitely some good players, so it felt like somewhat intense. But like I feel like when I when I was pub stomping this time, I'd get like... 20 kills and now like a 5 or 6k damage right and it'd be just the most juicer game action-packed game i feel like now it's kind of hard to get like big damage or big kill games because everyone just lands at like you know the hot pois hot drop and everyone just dies in the first like three minutes to five minutes of the game so this is this is when like people actually kind of landed still hot but like spread around the map for sure. It was it, it was good. But he did they did choose a really good um comp to um what's it called? To farm damage. I do say like Octane and Pathfinder are in my opinion like the best like farming farming like legends, you know, for like kill races or damage. Um, for this reason, because it's just like, they're able to move fast. I do think it's nice, the fact that if, when you're playing Octane, you don't ever have to really heal your flesh, because you could always just, you know, it auto-regens and you could just queue up. Um, yeah, I do think, I do think that is pretty, uh, pretty good about Octane. But I think the mobility and like the confirming the kills with Pathfinder is just definitely a lot better for me personally. But yeah, it does seem like they're doing their best to farm the uh, damage as much as possible, which is very smart. This is what I is pretty much what I I, I kind of did. Like I would make sure to shoot every single person, shoot every down down guy. But it's crazy. Wait, hold up. There is. There's only three squads left. Okay, there's only three squads left. 
and he somehow gets 5k damage which is technically it makes sense because i would say you get you can get 1k damage per squad that, that sounds about right you know 1k per per squad because each team should have 200 hp and you have the knockdown any uh, of the knocks which is 100 so you're realistically getting about i think 800 yeah 800 per five, uh, per team and then if you let them heal or res or anything like that it just extends it or even longer so i'm curious I'm, i feel like even though obviously i know that he gets 10k damage i wonder if he could have gotten like a 15k damage game you know what i mean because like he just let that first team live so it's got to be like this team flies into another another team right here and then they die to this other team oh three kills three damage but that's huge this is huge nah this is actually like that's actually like the perfect scenario you can just shoot all three of them for free oh my gosh that's huge Ooh, nice. See, the problem about this is like you gotta do damage. And you gotta do damage, but you also can't like thirst them or do too much damage where like they're too afraid, you know what I mean? Oh like that was kind of risky right there. 97 I like how if you look, he doesn't take like, any risk, it feels like. As soon as he... As soon as he gets low in any way, he like comes back and drops his armor for his teammates or his teammates to like, swap or pops a bat. Like he doesn't like... I feel like I haven't seen him get to like 50 or like 30 HP. Like nowhere even close to dying. He's playing this like really smart. Oh wait, his teammate got knocked. Wait, this is actually really bad. Okay, team just Valkyrie's away. Doesn't even fight. Oh, all good. That is the biggest problem about this challenge too, is also the ammo aspect. So having the Loba pick is really nice because you can just constantly be shooting. He never has to worry about ammo. He could just always like there they could just find the ammo for him and loot and then just always drop it later and he could just continue continuously keep shooting. Because I would say that's like when I was doing my 9k, it was always just so hard. Because like legitimately they would fight other people, the other teams would like they would run out of meds. That's another another factor, right? You as much as like ammo as you have, you could have as much ammo, but if they have no meds, they're not healing, and then you can't get more damage. So he has to put that in consideration and like if they were trying to min max as much as possible they could drop their heals for the enemy team okay so they get 2000 more damage from here and there's just two more squads which is definitely like it makes sense it's possible Yeah, I feel like... Oh. Wait, he thirsted them? Oh. I would not have thirsted that. I feel like that was the opportunity to not thirst. But it is the last team, so it makes sense. Wait, he has a lot of ammo. So, wait. Definitely could have gone crazy this game with damage. This is just, this is just like, this is like a, 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 a actual dream, actual dream scenario. Just being fed armor and you can just keep shooting over and over and over. Never have to do anything but just shoot your gun. Just, your teammates just healing, healing the armors for you and just, it's perfect. Like, look at that. He's 
He's so safe. Like, he doesn't even get cracked and he's asking for armor. It's pretty crazy, you know what I mean? Okay, we're almost at 10k damage. I wonder if he just stops carrying after he gets the 10k or if he tries to keep getting even farther. I wonder if that's like his case. Because like, you know, like, I'm not gonna lie, he has a lot of time here. This is the final zone. Oh my god, he dropped the batteries for the enemy team to level ult. Wait, that was so smart. That was actually so smart. Yeah, he definitely could have got more damage if he played a little bit more aggressively, but I do want to say um, he is playing a little bit safe, which is which is fair. You don't want to like throw the chance. Like you have ten, you have ten k damage, and I think he realized that now, and now he's just gonna go up. You know, he's just trying to do as as much as he can. And this is where, yeah, he, Okay, I was gonna say, maybe he's going for 11k. I think it's a 10k damage. I don't think he gets 11. Oh my god, he's 200 off. Oh my gosh. Wait. If he actually let the low bug get the armor, he could've got 11k damage. 100%. Oh my gosh. Nice. This is, I'm pretty sure, the highest damage record game there is. I don't think there is anything higher than this, which is 10,000, oh, 10,864 is the world record for damage um, with teammates in general, too. I think it's all time. Uh, if you don't count, like, L LTMs, because I know there, there are stuff like if you do... Uh, what is it called? Lucky sh uh, three strikes, three strikes, three strikes. Yeah, there are people who have 10k damage all the time and, and three strikes. Um, because it's a game where you just you know, I mean, you constantly keep resing and everything. Uh, but yeah, I think this is the only um, this is this is the highest damage game for pubs. Um, is this an LTM pub too? It isn't an LTM pub, it's just a regular pub. Yeah, this is pretty much just a regular pub. Um, I mean, most LTM pubs aren't really that much different, right? Sometimes it has like a little bit of a twist or better loot spawns and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the world record damage. They, uh, he does also have, he has a, a solo one. One that he did it when he was solo as well. So same thing was as mine, but it was an 8,700 damage. So he's, he's farming damage. This guy knows how to farm damage. My man, my man, 10k damage in one game, pretty much almost 11k, which is freaking crazy. Uh, I'm on honestly, I'm gonna need some pocket healers, I'm gonna need some, some pocket looters because that looked nice. I, I think we can all agree that looked phenomenal. We're gonna need some teammates like that because that those teammates are MVPs as well, right? Even though he got the 11k damage, pretty much his teammates also did some god's work, so. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys thought about the video and what videos you want to see in the future. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I think there's something on my... Yeah, I think that was, that was good.